Hi, I'm Lizzie King, and I'm really excited today to be showing you my favorite cocktails. Um, I'm not usually a big fan of the big syrupy drinks that hang out in most bars as cocktails, because I feel like they don't have enough flavor and they're not that interesting. They're just a sort of long, sweet drink. So I make mine at home often, and I've found recently an incredible mezcal brand called Dangerous Don, which makes beautifully distilled mezcals that you really want to add to your regular cocktails and give them a bit of a lift. So what I'm gonna be making today, my all-time favorite cocktail, the Negroni, um, which, I've, which from my every Italian part of my body has always loved. And I'm gonna be giving it, a, I call this one a Negroni, and I've made this a couple of times recently and people have gone wild for it. Um, so it's a Negroni with a mezcal twist and I'm using the mezcal cafe which is distilled three times once with coffee so it just gives it a really interesting deep flavor and perfect for the Negroni which which needs some which needs a little power to it if you're going to add an another flavor so first up is the Campari as you would always start a Negroni um, I think account account started the created the Negroni, um, but I can't remember his name. 25 mils of Campari going in there. And then we're gonna add the beautiful Mezcal Cafe, which, as I said, is distilled with coffee. It's not brown, it's a beautiful clear, as you can see, it's a beautifully clear liquid because it's not an extract that's been added. It's been distilled along with it. Um, and then we're going to add some ice and swirl this together so we get a really nice combination and chill it through a bit too. So there we go. Then I'm going to add 25 dry vermouth. Um, which I always have on hand for dirty martinis. So there we go with that. And top it up with a splash, depending how, how you're feeling, how your day's been, um, a little bit of soda water or not. I just like a little splash, but taste it as you go and see what you think. Um, and then a lovely slice of lemon zest, not we don't want the juice and we don't want the pith. We just want to cut really carefully around the edge like that. You want a nice sharp knife and you get an incredible, you get the lemon oil in that. So I'm just gonna squeeze it slightly there and I can smell it here. Um, and then you rub that around the rim of the glass and then you pop it in, give it another little twist. And you've got the most beautiful drink. I mean, that is a delicious, delicious Negroni. Better than, better than the original, I think.